Hey everyone, Ho Jang Kim here. Today, I wanted to share a personal reflection and realization that hit me this week after hosting a webinar. It's about finding our authentic voices amidst societal pressures and scripts. I hope this resonates with some of you. I hosted my first webinar on Asian women's leadership this week. To be honest, I was not feeling good about it at all. There was this strong resistance inside me, making me want to cancel. I thought maybe I was just nervous about running a live event, so I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and did it. I discussed assessing, planning, and achieving goals and typical challenges and how to overcome them. A participant said it was thought-provoking, which was great. But despite that, something still didn't sit right with me. I couldn't sleep well and felt tense. After some soul-searching, I realized that I was talking about a topic that I wasn't deeply passionate about. Yes, achieving goals and getting a leadership roles are all important and something I can help with. But that's not why I left my corporate job. I left the corporate America to empower Asian women to lead an authentic life as a leader. Plus, to democratizing coaching through an app to make sure more people can access the support they need. What drew me to this passion is frustration. Society often tells us what to think, what to do, almost like a script. As kids, it's about studying hard, getting good grades. As adults, it's about specific jobs and roles. I remember being asked as a kid what I wanted to be. But as I get older, those questions stopped. It felt like society had set milestones for me. And the part that really pissed me off is they act like these milestones are for my happiness. My point is, they don't know me, who I am, what I want. How can they decide what makes me happy? And because everybody is put into this one game, there are huge competition. And there is the comparison trap. In Korea, we have this term, mother's friend's child. This is not an actual person, but an imaginary perfect someone. This perfect individual is envisioned as someone who has top grades in school, attends top college, lands a high paying job, climbs the career ladder quickly, marries, has kids, and still manages hobbies and regular vacations. I think you get the idea. In the US, I don't see this extreme, but the constant comparison with others does exist. If everyone was truly happy with this scripted life, I would be fine. But reality paints a different picture. I see many people who are exhausted anxious, burnout, out, and feeling unfulfilled. The race to win in one very competitive game not everybody chose to play. For someone, it may be the game they enjoy playing, but for others, it may be a game they play hard in, feel like a failure, and become unhappy. What bothers me is how rarely people question this. They are busy managing their exhaustion, their burnout. Many haven't paused to think about what they truly want. That's the change I want to make. If someone consciously chooses this life, that's great. My hope is simply for individuals to consciously decide, understanding their desires and values. That's why I started my journey. So yes, achieving the goals, reaching executive roles, they are all important. But what's more important to me 
is that people set their goals consciously, knowing who they are, what they want, and their true values. I want to wake up people and help them make conscious decisions. I know I'm still working on it, and it's a journey. When I first left the corporate world, my passion was clear. But in just a few months, I felt myself drifting, influenced by numerous opinions on how to be a successful coach. This week, I've refocused. But I'm aware that distractions may come again. My hope is to recognize and realign faster. And that's why I think it's important to have a group of people who resonate with this to share their stories and support each other. I created that space. If you resonate, then you're welcome to join. The group is called Seen for Asian Women. This group serves as a sanctuary for those who yearn to be seen and recognized for who they authentically are. Those who want to shape and define how they are seen by the world. Who are ready to speak up, ensuring their voices are heard and seen. Those who seek a community where they can share and be seen for their dreams, stories, and aspirations. Now, while the doors of this group are open to everyone, I'd like to mention that the focus predominantly revolves around the experiences of Asian women. If this speaks to you, you'll find the link to Scene for Asian Women in the description below. I truly believe that together, we can redefine how we are seen and change the narrative. Thank you for your time today, and I hope to connect with many of you soon.